Okay for you guys, we need it to be lifted because maybe you have to move it a little bit out. It's okay. It's okay there. How is the sound? Does it sound okay for everyone? The majority. The majority. <laughs> Those who are listening, can you tell me if it's okay? Yeah. Is the sound okay? Yeah. Uh, Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen of the media, for coming impromptu. I think that whatever trick we used uh, to get you to come here, we should continue with that because this is very well attended uh, press do. Um, I just want to be able to report to you that we've had a national management committee meeting uh, combined with the parliamentary leadership meeting, which is the closest meeting we can have to ANEC. And of course, uh, it was chaired by our national chairman, Mr. Nzuya, and attended by those you see here who represent our leadership in, uh, both in, in parliament, both Senate and the National Assembly. Um, we were discussing various issues. I'm going to tell you what those are and then uh, I will allow a couple of questions that you, you may have, and then we can proceed from there. Uh, the first thing is that, as, you'd, as you know, we are in the, uh, we're within months to the next general election, so it is very important that as a party, we adhere to the requirements of uh, law, the requirements of the, the, the Registrar of Political Party and the Part Political Parties Act, in terms of compliance. So those are issues that we have to review every now and, and then, and we were looking at those. Uh, the next thing, of course, is that uh, we are preparing for our national delegates uh, conference, and uh, that is the highest organ of the party, and part of the reason why we decided to have a much more broad-based meeting rather than only the NMC, but it will also to include our stakeholders from Parliament, is so that they can input in any uh, agenda items that we do have for the National Delegates uh, Conference. And uh, then uh, another thing which of course we discussed about is various caucuses that uh, the party is going to launch and we'll be uh, giving you information as soon as those very important caucuses are launched. Uh, finally, we want to continue to support the president and we want to make sure that this country can be assured that the next leadership of this country will not be those that Kenyans may have doubt on. We don't want Kenyans to elect thieves to run this country going forward. Thank you very much. Questions? Yeah, did, uh, when, uh, SG, did you discuss about uh, anything the 
Um, the question of uh, merger did not come up in this meeting. I think that uh, it has never come up in any of our meetings. The only thing that we have discussed are coalitions. A merger is completely different uh, uh, thing, and that has not been in any of our discussions. The issue of coalitions, how far are you in uh, the talks you have with the Orange Democratic Movement? And the second question is, uh, there have been calls for you to resign as SG. Are you considering that? And what is keeping you there, uh, keeping you there as a general? Which one should I, which one should I answer first? Um, the, the one on uh, o, ODM or the one on whichever you find <laughs> suitable. Now, well, our discussions with the ODM are ongoing. Uh, there are discussions which have been done at our level, and there are discussions which are which are done at the level of the the two party leaders. Uh, it is beyond my pay grade to divulge to you anything which has come up at the level of the two party leaders, and I think. Uh, uh, you should ask them that question at the earliest opportunity you may have. Now, when it comes to my position as uh, Secretary General, uh, it is very, very important for you to appreciate and for all Kenyans to appreciate that this is a political office. Uh, I'd, I would be a very, very worried person if nobody expressed dissatisfaction with my work. I would be a very, very worried person if nobody was hitting me every other day because that would mean that the position of Secretary General is not important. So I think I welcome any criticisms. It, is, it comes with the territory and uh, I'm ready to, to live with it. Well, that's one of the things that will be discussed at the NBC, and I'd like to be able to inform you that we really wanted to have the elections uh, in 2020. Uh, we were ready, we were prepared. Indeed, we were only delayed by the requirements that were made to us by the Register of Political Parties. This being a very litigious uh, country, if we did it without adhering to the requirements of the register of political parties, then those elections would be declared null and void. And then after that, unfortunately, we went into the COVID uh, period when political activities were basically not allowed to be done in, in a certain way. So that kind of derailed us. So it's not something that we deliberately avoided. We wanted to go ahead. We had actually announced that uh, the latest it had to be was in March of 2020. But as you know, uh, COVID came knocking in about the same time. Uh, the NDC can discuss, the NDC can can decide on that, and it, it will be presented before the NDC. Yes, boss. I want to go that side after finishing here. SD, your critics, some of them are standing right behind you. Does that mean then that you're more defensive? Uh, well, you know, as I told you, I would be extremely worried if I didn't have critics. I would be extremely worried if we went into the office upstairs and we didn't have robust debates. That is what democracy is all about. And I can tell you that as we were in the offices upstairs, uh, we, we, we did not agree on every subject which was on, put on the table for discussion and for debate. We debated robustly. We finally agreed on the way forward. And the moment we agree on the way forward is collective responsibility. Yeah. It is not what the Secretary General thinks or what the, the leader of majority from Parliament thinks. It is what we think as a party. That's the essence of democracy. I would be extremely uh, depressed if we had a country where people do not disagree. We must disagree. Yes. Well, uh, first of all, you are assuming an agenda that I didn't even know is coming to the NDC. You seem to know something that I don't know. Maybe you are reading too much from the social media. <laughs> but I think your question is valid. 
um, the NDC is the highest party organ, and whatever the NDC decides prevails. Yeah. Uh, the, the rule is that the NDC must be, we must give a notice of 21 days. Um, because uh, our party leader has got a very uh, busy schedule, uh, there'll be some comparing of notes with his diary, then we'll announce uh, the date of the N NDC. Okay? And you'll be the ones to announce. Yes, and yeah, you'll, you'll announce. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, yes. Last question, or second last question, you and then one more person, yes. You know, I've just, I've just, I've just said, I've just said that uh, there's some need for comparison of notes between us and the party leader. So if I start saying that is this month or next month, I'll be jumping the gun. Is it possible for you, Mr. to tell us maybe some of the issues that we are likely to discuss at that meeting? Is mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> no, no, don't worry, don't Those worry. Will be on the notice. No, don't worry. Uh, that's what we are discussing. That's what we're discussing, what is to be the agenda. Actually, we have another meeting on Thursday and we have some other meeting on Friday when we'll be discussing what is going to be the agenda. If I start announcing what is in the agenda here, unless I want to be sacked. <laughs> okay, last question. No, you've asked, I want to give him a chance. Yes, sir. Huh? No. The lady. You've done? The lady. No, the lady has asked. No, no the other one. This one, yes. All these guys like you. <laughs> yeah. Well, just as I said, I don't know what is going to be in the agenda until we finally agree uh, as a team on what is going to be in the agenda and in consultation with the party leader. So what comes with the agenda is not the work of one or two individuals. It's a whole team here. But Good. is it a concern for you that you have a deputy party leader who's advancing and then that's the one of the political party getting That is in the constitution. That is actually in the constitution. I think it should just concern you as much as it would concern us. As it should concern and I'm sure it concerns all the And delegates. I'm sure it concerns you. But as members, what are you doing about it? Well, well, well. I've, I've addressed this. I've addressed this before. I mean, there are so many wars to be fought, and we have to choose what war you want to fight at what time. So you're ignoring Thank that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a small war. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Thanks for coming. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs>